So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the best slow motion cameras. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Found yourself asking how did they film that crisp slow motion effect in that one video? Well, good news, you can create that same effect quite easily. Slow motion enables you to capture delicate aspects of the emotions or movements within a scene, details we often overlook. And of the interesting videography tricks available, there are few as iconic. Not only does it make a moment look epic, dramatic, and builds suspense, but it also creates a unique mood that regular speed can't match. Plus, it transforms one's simple events into something spectacular and beyond our everyday reality. As such, it's a powerful tool to the videographer's arsenal and one guaranteed to add impact to your video. It used to be that slow motion was the preserve for professionals who could afford the industry's best offerings, say a camera with 10,000 frames per second, but thankfully these days there's plenty of budget-friendly options that don't cost as much as a typical four-bedroom house. So that is excellent news. And you can find plenty of powerful cameras so long as you know what to consider and where to look. And even smaller point and shoot cameras have evolved to the next level. Now many of them even shoot 120 frames per second in full HD resolution. And the latest flagships offering 4K at 120 frames per second, outdoing many professional cinema cameras from a few years prior. However, there are many slow motion cameras on the market right now, and not all slow motion cameras are made equally, and the features each offers does vary. As such, we've created a detailed guide outlining some of the considerations to think about when shopping around, and we've also compiled a list of the best slow motion cameras on the present market. Important note here, we've organized this particular list and video based on the camera type and sensor size. As such, we've collected the best cameras in their respective categories rather than focus solely on flagship models or a specific subsection. But with that out of the way, on with the list. Coming at number 5, Panasonic's S5. Released in 2020, the S5 is Panasonic's latest full-frame mirrorless camera. It has a 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor, and it shoots 1080p full HD, 180fps, and 4K UHD, 60fps video. It also features wireless connectivity, log profiles, zebras, 5-axis stabilization, weather sealing, time-lapse, dual card slots, microphone and headphone jacks, and a 3-inch very angle touchscreen. The S5 uses a 225-point contrast AF system with Panasonic's DFD technology, and it also offers face, eye, and body detection with support to negative 6 EV. But crucially, the S5 is one of few cameras with 10-bit 422 video bundled into the new H.265 HEV format, providing an exciting balance between file size and processing flexibility. And it's even one of less so to also record with unlimited recording time. Overall, the S5 marks Panasonic's best hybrid to date, and while it's technically an entry-level model in the Lumix S lineup, it builds heavily on the successes of the S1H and the classic GH5, but now with a far more attractive price tag. Coming at number 4, Fujifilm's X-T4. Released in 2020, the X-T4 is Fujifilm's latest high-end release to flush out the single-digit X-T lineup. It has a 26.1 megapixel X-Trans CMOS sensor, and it shoots 1080p full HD, 240fps, and DCI 4K 60fps video. It also features wireless connectivity, 5-axis stabilization, weather sealing, a tally lamp, dual card slots, HDR, time-lapse, zebras, log profiles, a microphone input, and a 3-inch vari-angle touchscreen. The X-T4 uses a 425-point phase detect AF system, which currently holds the fastest acquisition time in the APS-C segment at just 0.02 seconds. But this camera also focuses down to negative 6 EV to boast. Plus, it also debuts the fourth generation sensor and processor configuration, which delivers the best image quality Fuji offers outside of the medium format GFX line. And it also marks one of a few cameras offering 240 FPS video, along with a new H.265 compression format and 10-bit internal recording. Overall, the X-T4 holds the reins as the top APS-C camera money can buy and Fuji's best release to date. It makes enormous leaps and bounds in the X-T line and sets a new benchmark for the entire industry. Coming at number 3, Panasonic's GH5. 
Released in 2017, the GH5 is Panasonic's flagship Micro Four Thirds video camera. It has a 20.3 megapixel MOS sensor without an anti-aliasing filter, and it shoots 1080p Full HD 180fps in 4K UHD 60fps video. It also features wireless connectivity, dual card slots, time-lapse, weather sealing, zebras, HDR, a full-size HDMI, image stabilization, headphone and microphone jacks, and a 3.2-inch fully articulating touchscreen. The GH5 uses the first-generation version of the 225-point contrast AF system found in the newer S5, but it brings a motion detection algorithm that produces the best focusing of all their Micro Four Third size cameras. And unlike rivals, it's one of the few in its class offering 10-bit 422 color internally with broadcast quality data rates of 400 megabits per second in 4K. Plus, it does so with unlimited recording time to boast. Overall, the GH5 leapfrogs the acclaimed GH4 and continues the groundbreaking traditions of this line, but it also sets a new standard for the class with tactful innovation that rivals professional-grade broadcast cameras. Coming at number two, Sony's ZV-1. Released in 2020, the ZV-1 departs a new lineup in the long-standing CyberShot series. It has a 1-inch 20.1 megapixel CMOS sensor, 1080p Full HD 120fps, and 4K 30fps video. It also features wireless connectivity, log profiles, USB charging, a tally lamp, optical stabilization, time-lapse, neutral density filters, vertical video, a microphone input, and a 3-inch fully articulating touchscreen. The ZV-1 uses a 425-point hybrid AF system with real-time AF, which is a machine learning algorithm for subject detection. And this combination boasts a class-leading focus acquisition speed of just 0.03 seconds. It also debuts the new product showcase mode to smoothly transition from subject tracking to products or inanimate objects. As such, it's a great tool to capture both a subject in the frame and highlight a vital object too. But crucially, it obtains the slow and quick mode from the RX100 lineup, which shoots up to 960 FPS rendered in camera for unrivaled slow motion capture. Overall, the ZV-1 sets new standards amongst compact cameras and marks the best option around. It provides essentially a perfect autofocus, unlimited video, and a larger than average sensor, so comparatively, it's quite a slam dunk on Sony's part given its features and price point. Coming at number one, GoPro's Hero 9 Black. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>